The next type we want to talk about in Adobe Camera Raw is the hue, saturation, and luminous, the HSL. We can do some really cool things with this, just like in Photoshop. The thing to know about hue is we can change colors around. If we want to make the oranges more red, we can bump this over here. Now they see the orange bill and the orange feet are turned red. If we turn it more yellow, you can do this. This is a great tool if you have some color um, balances, but once you white balance your nature images, you don't have to play with this too often. Saturation is generally where you're going to play a little bit, bring out little colors. And if we want to make some of these oranges pop out a little bit more, it's a good way to do that. If you want to make the blues in the water a little bit stronger, you can do that, but it's all about being subtle again, like we usually talk about. Uh, the other thing that's really neat is up here is a button for click to grayscale. So we can do that, get a black and white image instantly. Now we can adjust these elements that are in black and white and adjust the contrast, what it looks like in the image, what if it was not black and white. So the other thing that's neat about this panel is we can select and choose. That's what I love about it. Just like in Photoshop, you can select your saturation. This tool allows for a lot more control, however. So I like doing this editing right in Adobe Camera Raw. One other element that you use a lot is the lens correction. If we zoom in, if you have a lens that offers up some fringing, you'll get some weird colors, especially at these high contrast areas. So we're going to go over here to this wing. If you have a lens that fringes, you're going to get these weird colors on the edge. Sometimes you get red, sometimes you get this green. On some cameras and some lenses, they are going to fringe out in different ways at these high contrast areas. So what you can do in Adobe Camera Raw is if you do see those fringings, you can take it out. So if you look here, you want to make it look where it's white. So here's a cyan. You want to make it balance out right or about its level. If we left it at zero here, you know, there's a little bit of red. So we're going to take that out. It's not quite natural. There's not any, not a whole lot of yellow, not a whole lot of blue. So we're going to leave that alone. But that's a great way. Instead of buying a thousand dollar lens and fixing your problem, now you can just go right into Photoshop and Adobe Camera Raw, adjust that right here, and then once you're done with all your settings, you can go over here to the presets button, zoom out, and what's great is you can see all the adjustments that you did from your original image to your final. We didn't do a whole lot in this image, it came out of the camera really good. But we've talked about the basic elements, we can talk about adjusting there, white balance, tones, clarity, we've talked about the curves adjustment, we've talked about detail, and with the hue and saturation right here, as well as the lens correction. Adobe Camera Raw is a great tool, and I hope you use it.